Hello, I'm Jill Hunter, Harbour's Beef and Cheap Nutritionist, and today I'm here with Veg Jones from Glasgow Vet School, and we're going to talk a little bit about body condition scoring suckler cows. Veg, what is body condition scoring? Yeah, so body condition scoring is more or less how we assess the fat coverage on a cow. And the reason that we measure fat and not weight is that cow's weight will vary depending on the breed of the cow, or how pregnant she is, or even what we're feeding her, because sometimes it'll just fill up the room. And so at what time of year, Reg, should we body condition score our cows? So we tend to body condition score cows when we handle them. We tend to do it in yeah. spring as we're sending them out to pasture, and we also tend to do it in autumn as they're coming in for the winter. We know that body condition score of suckler cows can change throughout the year, so why is it really important that we keep a handle on it? It's really important that we monitor this as the year progresses because um, the change in body condition score, and especially if it's a really, really fast change over a short period of time, will have knock-on effects on the cow's production. So we can monitor body condition scoring either um, on a single time point, and that's to show that cows that are either too thin or too fat, and we know that too thin cows struggle to um, get pregnant, they struggle to actually birth the calves at calving time, and they also struggle to produce colostrum. Too fat cows also struggle to get pregnant and, and they might also struggle to calve in some cases. We also want to monitor the change in body condition score over time because fast changes in body condition score indicate that there's a particular problem with that individual cow and we should really look into that. When we want to start body condition score and rage, how do we actually go about it? So you can do it visually. Um, it's not the best way, it's better to have your hands on the cows, but it is better than nothing. Okay. And you can have a look at these cows here and kind of guesstimate what their body condition score is. What body condition score would you put on these two girls? So the one on the right, I would probably go with about three and a half to four for her. It does vary by person, but as long as you're consistent, it doesn't matter if you're half a body condition score off. Okay, so as long as I'm always body conditioned my own cows, then I should be the same year on year. That's exactly the important thing. Okay. And then the one on the on the left here is probably about a three. So she's just about right, actually. I wouldn't say she's over fat or over thin. Okay, so I'm looking just to maintain her to calving time now. Exactly. How do you think these cows compare to the last group? These are a bit of a leaner group compared to the last group. You can see their tail heads a bit better and you can see their transverse process. So that's the bit of the spine that sticks out behind the last rib. What sort of score would you put on them? So I would say that these are probably around a two and a half, maybe a three out of push. We've had a look at the cows visually and now we've got the cow here in our, in our cattle crate. Could you explain to me how best to body condition score her? You need to feel the cow at three distinct points. So across the ribs here, at the transverse process here, where the flat bit of the spine sticks out behind the last rib, and across the tail head at the back there. When we looked at them visually, we thought this cow was about a two and a half. Do you still think that she's a two and a half? Yeah, I do think that she's a two and a half still. How would she differ from a fat cow? So a fat cow, I wouldn't be able to feel any of the transverse processes here. And if you put your hand over there, you can actually feel each individual bone as you're going backwards. Also, a fat cow, we'd have fat across the tail head there, and you probably wouldn't be able to feel inside the tail head here. It would feel fatty and lumpy. And if she was really fat, you would also not be able to feel any ribs. And you can feel all her ribs as you're putting your hand across them. Once we have the cows all body conditioned and into the different groups of too fat, too thin or just right, how would we best manage them? So it depends on what time of year it is, you'd want to house them separately so you could feed them separately. And this is important if you want to make sure that a certain group of cows either put on weight or a certain group of cows lose weight over the winter months. If we think about spring calving suckler cows and bringing them in in the back end, we would want to make sure that the body condition was right about six weeks before calving. So would you be quite keen to change body condition early in the season rather than late? If I needed to change or make a change in body condition score, I'd want to do it a good six weeks before calving. Um, I wouldn't want anything to change in that last six weeks because it would be quite stressful for the animal. With the lean cows, how are we best to manage them, Reg? So the lean cows, as they come in, you'd need to start building them up until about six weeks pre-calving. And whatever body condition score they've reached at six weeks pre-calving, you want to maintain that until they've calved. And the ones that are just right, we're just looking to maintain them? Yeah, you just leave them alone, let them carry on as they are, not losing or gaining weight until uh, they calve. And what about the fat girls? 
The fat girls, you can use their body reserves, um, their fat reserves, um, as, as a supplement to their feed. So they can lose a little bit of weight up until about six weeks pre-calving. But at that point, they need to maintain a steady level. Reg, thank you ever so much for explaining this to me today. I think it gives us a good idea of how best to body condition score the cows and then to manage them as well. You're very welcome, Jill. Hopefully it gives everybody a better understanding of how to do this going forward.